Look how it just fell off my bone by itself. I don't want to ever go anywhere else again. I am German and I'm going to try Texas barbecue for the very first time. Deanna and Phil, Deanna's from the S and I'm from Germany and we are currently in Charleston, South Carolina and I'm very happy right now because we are gonna have Texas barbecue for the first time. The place is called Lewis Barbecue. The guy who started it is from Texas and he brought Texas style barbecue over here. It's a very popular place and I can't wait for Phil to try it. First thumbs first, we should try the brisket sandwich. It says taking care of the brisket and I think these are uh, the, the horseshoes, right? Kind of double wrapped here. Could be from a fast food chain. Ooh, but it looks different, so forget about that. Wow. So we got a soft, soggy bun. And then we have some nice brisket slices on it. Here we go. First time Texas barbecue ever. It's a brisket. Oh my god. You can finish chewing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Dude, I love that kind of meat. It's smoky. It's crispy on the outside, it's very nicely cooked through, but soft when you chew it. There's a little bit of fat, there's so much flavor in it. Dude, what? Hey! That's they, an awesome sandwich. They smoke this beef brisket for hours. Okay. And there's three different sauces. They have a green chili barbecue, a red barbecue sauce, and a tangy barbecue sauce. Well, it's so fluid, but go, go easy. I don't see anything. Is it on? Yeah. It's on me. <laughs> With the sauce. Mm. There are vinegar and mustard based sauces. I think this one's a vinegar based. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is better than any fast food burger out there from any of these chains. It's a real piece of meat on there and oh, the smokiness and the, mm. the burger bun is amazing as well. Wow, I love it. That's a nine and a half out of ten. That's absolutely fantastic. Wow. Also, I think they give you a decent amount of meat here. There were three fat slices of brisket and uh, <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, it is good. I can't wait for the next thing. I wonder if there's something better. I can't. I could not picture anything being better than that. All right. Well, Phil's from Germany, and he's very familiar with these things. <laughs> Double wrapped as well. Look at this. They just wrap you a nice little sausage here. Is this what people give their kids in Texas if they go to school? Here you go, Leroy. Take your sausage. Don't forget your sausage. Woo. And there it is. And the kids just walk. I can see that, like a little Texan kid, and then just going on your way to school. Juicy! Well, check that thing out. This is super fatty and super spicy. It's a little bit of a kielbasa sausage type of thing, but super chili based, right? So it's called the Texas Hot Gut Sausage. Hot Gut Sausage. Mm -hmm. So it's like guts and stuff. I think it's a little over seasoned. I think if you season too much, it takes away from the meat flavor. It tastes very peppery, like a lot of pepper in there. Yeah, it tastes like you... a lot of herbs and spices. The skin is very hot, very crunchy. You have to really bite into it and then crunches. And as soon as you crunch through it, it gets very moist, like a moist, meaty, fatty explosion of uh, flavors in your mouth. But uh, not as good as the brisket, in my opinion. I agree, I think the brisket's better. We got a unsweetened sweetened tea, half and half on the side. Half and half. This is your first time trying sweet tea, right? What do you think? Ooh, it's nice. Wow, this reminds me of my uh, preschool time, like kindergarten, okay. because we always got tea and then they sweetened it a bit with sugar. Wait, we're that's sure? what it tastes like. Yeah, we did half and half because sweet tea in the South is very, very sweet. <laughs> All right, we have the mother load. Oh, yeah, the ribs. This is fatty. Like, check the stained thing here. I legitimately didn't expect to do this in a car, but yeah. we're, here we are. How do I eat these? With my hands? Yes, with your hands. What are you going to eat? Ribs with a fork and knife? No. Yeah. No. Here we go. I'm taking the best piece. I wonder, this could potentially be better than the brisket. These are pork ribs. Are we cheersing with this? Come on. They look so nicely glazed. Um, oh my god, they come off the bone. Mm. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. Check this out, they come off the bone like butter. Oh, oh my god, they're good. They ran out of the beef uh, ribs today, but they had the pork ribs, and this is why I come here. 
This is not a food that you should eat in the car. You have it on your face. I know, I'm saving it. Check how clean my bone is. It's beautiful. You could just pull that out of the meat and then you're left with this good piece. It's so tender, wow. I think this is the whole barbecue appeal, right? The slow smoked, slow cooked meat. I don't know why. This type of barbecue is just not common in Germany or in Europe, I think. I wonder why we don't do this more often instead of like going to a Five Guys or something like that, because it's awesome, right? So good. Here's our dilemma. We only ordered three ribs, so. Dips? No, you go for it. Well, yours is mine, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to ever go anywhere else again. Look how it just fell off my bone by itself. Okay, what would you rank these? I think it's slightly better than the brisket. Brisket 9, this is a 9 point. 3, 5. I give this a 9.8 out of 10. Yeah. I don't know what a 10 out of 10 is. I'm sure it's out there, but this is pretty damn close. I wonder now how the beef ones compare to these. This is pork. I don't know if I ever had beef uh, ribs. Yeah. Oh, wash it down with some sweet tea. Mm, there's a bit of meat on there. Mm. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> Gross. Mm. We have four different sides here. Fries. Um, this is what they call their fries, but they're cut funnily. They cut very thick and like in a spiral form. Shape is what I meant to say. Mm. Wow, they're awesome as well. They're very potatoey on the inside, but nicely seasoned. Yeah. I don't like a bland fry. Why are fries not always like nicely seasoned? Like they do with curly fries, they're awesome. You can tell they come fr straight from a potato, skin and all. It's nice. And if you know me, you know I love a good potato. Some of my favorites are definitely the Cajun fries from Five Guys. They're definitely stronger seasoned at Five Guys, but these are more on the potato side. These are like potato wedges almost. Yeah, exactly, like yeah. potato wedges. So these are almost equal if the cajun fries are nine this is an eight yeah i think these are awesome. they're very good they're awesome the question is mayonnaise or ketchup which do you prefer no need to choose all right since we're on the potato train potato salad because phil knows his potato salad i know my potato salad it looks nice lewis barbecue branded cup so this doesn't really look like the potato salad that i enjoy because it's very creamy and you can barely see the potatoes they're super small minced in there and I think we got some some greens, some chives or something in there. Is that sausage? Give it a try. I'm giving it a try. Oh yeah, we've been watching a lot of Master Chef, so this is how you're supposed to taste test. You look at it from a distance. And then I feel like then... Gordon Ramsay's doing a very quick one always. Okay. What do you think? I like it or not? I think you don't like it because Phil prefers vinegar-based potato salad. But what it is, I like it. I still love it because it's potatoes and I love potatoes. I just think it's not as good as a vinegar-based potato salad. This is just like a fattening version of a potato salad. It tastes like a premium version of a store-bought one. Mm. Which do you prefer? Do you like vinegar-based or mayonnaise-based potato salads more? I think mayonnaise-based are way more common in the US in general. But my grandma's is still better than that. Also, quick reminder, if you like these kind of videos, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, all that helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to further support us, you can do that on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. We do Patreon exclusive videos there. Totally up to you, but uh, what else do we got? We have this green chili corn pudding. I don't know if I've had this before. It looks really interesting. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. If I hear pudding, I think of a dessert, like a chocolate pudding. There's corn in it. There is, let me just flip this oh, around. Oh baby, sure. you're, you're ruining the skin. Get a bite with the skin. You of don't course, just- Of course, I just wanted to show it. Sorry. Younger, younger. <laughs> nice little mush. I don't know what it is. That's not my favorite. It's thing. like mushy cornbread with oh, yeah, a lot of chunks in there. There's a bit of cornbread in there too. I don't know if this is a super Texan thing. Sorry if you're from Texas, but this thing, that's not your best. Like, come what? In, come no, in. no, no. Speak for yourself. I really like this. Mm. Nah, I'm done with that. That just takes up space that could be filled with more ribs. So. <laughs> filled with more meat. Phil yeah. just wants to be filled with meat. Exactly. Or potato salad. <laughs> That's my least favorite. Okay, well we have one more thing and it might be the redeeming item. We it's have already coming out. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. So as you can see, they filled this up nicely. They squished it quite a bit, which is good. They don't uh, cut you short there on the portions. There's a bit of a cheese crust there. Mac and cheese, just in general, very dense, very- Delicious. Delicious food. I actually want one of these cheese crust things. I just want to eat it out of your hand. Come on. Yeah, yeah, mac and cheese. 
Ooh, the crust. Mm. Give it to me, I can't get it with the spoon. Ooh, I like the cheese. It has a very strong cheesy note to it, but the good kind. This is the kind of southern mac and cheese that I like. It's slightly overcooked pasta, and the cheese is just oozing over it. Mm. Mm. That bite I just took is probably 600 calories. Yum, I don't care. This is awesome. I'm sweating here. Yeah, me too. This I'm is sure. some heavy food. The This is amazing mac and cheese. Yeah. I love it. On the mac and cheese scale, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I would say 8 out of 10. Yum. Yeah, so... I like that. I think a little less cheese. I like the potato salad. I think vinegar base would be better. The corn stuff, that's not my thing. I think where this shines really, really is the meat. I'm so glad we have still a bit of this brisket. We unfortunately already inhaled all the ribs we had. We should have gotten more. I mean, I might go and get some more ribs, but yeah. this is absolutely amazing. I would like to come back here and just enjoy the food and stuff my face without filming. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. I might just get like a full rib cage of ribs. Like, give me a whole pig. <coughs> Texas oh. gets it right with the meat. And uh, let us know if you had a similar experience like me, maybe. If you like Texas or Southern barbecue in general. I love it. And I, I wonder why we're not going more often to these places. Guys, big thank you to our family member Patreons, Marcus Ottensman, Fred42, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kafner, Hessen Metro, Jay Reed, Char Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Alan B, Danu, Stephanie Vent, Jasper Nielsen, Megan Rosati, Shannon Bradley, Jörg Michels, Sean and Alex, Klaus Eisert, James and Kelly Schröder, Holden Gilbert and Jutta and Wolfgang Völker. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us, and a special thank you to our Patreons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!